Come here, open this valve and drain the water until fuel starts coming out and then you got all the water. Uh, so the fuel water separator, primary fuel filter, this type right here is kind of commonly known as a fuel pro. And one of the unique uh, factors about a fuel pro is if you look at it, it's got this plastic case and you can see the filter element inside of it. And what's nice about these is it's really nice to know when it's time to change this filter. So you're not really worried about wasting money by changing them too early. And you're also not worried about if you wait in the actual service interval to change them that you're waiting too long. Because what happens is the fuel enters this housing from the bottom and it starts to rise. That fuel wants to follow the path of least resistance. So it's gonna go in the bottom of the filter. But once the bottom of that filter starts collecting too much contamination, then the path of least resistance means the fuel has to go a little bit higher to go through the fuel filter. And as each section of this filter gets dirty, the fuel level is gonna rise inside of this housing. And then you can see where it tells you the IMAX zone, or basically they're saying once it gets up into this area, then you know it's time to change that filter because it's getting too clogged up. So these are nice to have. Uh, primary fuel filter, after it leaves, the fuel typically goes through a transfer pump or a lift pump. And after